Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I'm Professor Meg. And today we are continuing our playthrough through Agamonia. Mm -hmm. We are about to dive into our sixth gameplay so far. We've had three tutorials. This is our third official post-tutorial gameplay. Mm -hmm. We will be diving into the Twilight... Spoiler alert! If you've made it this far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will be diving into the Twilight Watch this time because we've made our choices and now we have one left in the uh, early round ones before we level up. Uh, this is a sponsored gameplay series. You can check out all the rest on the channel and we will have a few more of these uh, before we dive into eventual reviews and opinions and all those things. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can also, a few notes there, first of all, feel free to check out Board Game Ramblings. They have a whole opinion piece up because they're already ahead of us. And so um, check out Board Game Ramblings if you want a review on this already. Uh, past that, before we dive into starting this off, a few small corrections or notes from previous gameplays. Mm -hmm. Number one, oh, and also keep an eye for pinned comments in general across any things that happen in this episode, but uh, there are generally pinned comments it's in the past videos. Game. It's kind of a big game. You guys. There's a few pinned comments about small things like escape damage you missed in one thing. So there's pinned comments, you can check those out. But two points of clarification that are definitely worth noting. One is, and I haven't even told you this one yet, uh, one is we've been treating this movement around the board as a single token when in reality we're supposed to have our own individual tokens. And oh. the reason that's relevant is we both have to pay in order to sleep and rest. Oh, no. No. Yeah, so we we've been have less money. we've been getting away with paying that in half the money. Yeah. Although that's a good point, we probably could recover that. How much does it cost for the in? It's cost, I think it's two. Is it two? It's a uh, city resolve. Where's the where's the where's the in thing? Which you service to rent a room. Rent a room is two money. So yeah, we could pay four money and just solve that problem. Well, no, don't we owe two? Only owe two because we paid we did two twice already. Twice. Does that math check out? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we did it twice. So uh, we are going to pay four money, and uh, we are paying our overdue it's fees. It's two per person. Two per person per night. And we were only playing uh, a single two. So we were getting away with uh, that's that extra room we just, uh, you know, st stole it, borrowed it. We borrowed it. We paid back. We're all good. It. We're all good. In other slightly more embarrassing news, uh, Meg this entire time has been using the wrong action tokens for her character. It's you guys. my fault, not hers. But, uh, Honestly, but, though, I was playing with a handicap. Yeah, these two, for, these new ones do look pretty fun. They're a bit more Meg style. Yeah, we were using Lunara's tokens, which has a similar color palette, and I mistakenly handed her all the Lunara tokens, so she was using the wrong main action tokens for her character. She'll go ahead and choose the two new ones when we mm -hmm. dive into the actual scenario. Uh, fortunately, uh, you know, that's all fixed now. Also, thank you for the uh, comment section uh, for keeping us honest, and Paul Grogan as well, mm -hmm. for the little small corrections whenever things go wrong. But with that, let's go ahead and dive into this scenario, starting off with... The city step. Yes. That's all we do. Team Apple step. Wolf Squadron, let's go. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and dive into the city step over here. So we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and we did our... Now, did... Alex, it has been a little bit since we played. Yes. I only had three money because I feel like I have way more than that. Yeah, but I think I we did just paid things. the in back. That's but the didn't... Well, yeah, but you just did that. Yeah, we are low on but money. I did buy the sword. I bought a sword, didn't I? I, you, sword. You I don't bought, remember the I believe you I bought did. an axe, sold an axe, then traded no, me an axe, gave me a money, took a money, and then also... You made some choices. I, got, you made some I choices. honestly have some pretty nice stuff. Yeah, I got some things as well. I got I got a bow, a torch, a medium. I'm happy with my bow. I do like this bow over here. There's a bunch of things over here. We got some stuff. We so got I have some... a hook and rope and a pickaxe for the things that we okay. tend to shop for. Okay, okay. What was the third thing? Uh, the, uh, the shovel. Do the you shovel. have a shovel? The shovel. Uh, we have, I have a shovel, yes. All right. Yeah, Time. we should be good. We should be good. We don't have a ton of things to do right now. We're going to go ahead and do the adventure stuff. What should we stuff. do? Well, let's wander around this town over here and make some choices as far as how we want to uh, do things over here. Anything in particular that catches your eye? Well, I don't have much money. That that does sound like real life? Or, wait, we're talking about the game or real life? <laughs> the we're talking game. About the game. Okay, cool. So we got the Agura Anvil. If we have Letter of Recommendation, do we have that? No, I, think I we don't think we don't, have that, yeah. we, No, I think we do. No, we don't. We have Legionary. We don't yeah. have that one. I've we been have, waiting for that. We have the service weaponsmith, we have the service armorer, we have the temple of the fifth eye, which won't really help us right now either. So we can fish. We could fish. We also have our own custom actions, if you recall. Right. I believe I can work. Hmm. We have the backpacks we could acquire as well, so we could still try to get our hands on those. Mine are at night. Mm-hmm. There are knights, night actions. Oh, that might, might be night actions too, but I know, I think I have some actual actions here. Choose one city activities. I have night actions. Okay, so I can go ahead and. Oh, you're right. They are night actions, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. I'll fish. Are you doing a fishing action? Sure. So fishing is. Wait, wait. With this, this activity over here? This yeah. is a night action. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we right now we have money. We can go ahead and visit some general places to uh, spend money if we yeah, wanted. Yeah, but we need to pay the. Oh. Yeah, I don't think. I have one dollar. I have do have a gem, three. but I want to keep it. I have three dollars. Yeah, we have gems we can sell for money if we wanted this, to. This one is worth 20. Um, this Did you is, know that? Because of the shape? Is it actually worth 20? Yeah, because of the shape. Look, it's sell the it for 20. Shape. Sell it for 20. 
Oh, no, sorry, sure? 50. 50. This one's worth 50. No, 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 no. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. You guys, I was teasing. I'm going to sell this for one. No, 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 but I want this. to clarify. There's a 50 coin and a 5. Yeah. And they're the same shape. I'm going to sell this one for one. So I'm going to sell that. We mined that from the wall of the last scenario. Or the happy case, perhaps. And these other ones I kind of want to hold on to because I think they're still worthwhile for certain yeah, situations. Yeah, I feel like something might come up that needs mine. I don't know what, but I'm I could hoping. sell this for, for a three. No, we like it. What for? I have no idea. Fine, sell it. I'll sell it. We'll get three money back, okay? These are all these various gizmos and gadgets these that we have. These metal monies are so nice. They are so nice. Uh, but that's going to be... Uh, so we have we now have... I have seven money alone. Do you want to well, buy a I helmet? Don't I don't need anything. I'm ready to go. So whatever do you want to do... Buy a I want to fish, kind of. You get two actions at night? Yes. I kind of want to fish and do my job. So we have a helmet over here. This lets you re-roll. Ooh, 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 ooh. Meg, you see, if you have a helmet, you can re-roll those. Nice. Do you want that? No. That's defensive. I don't care. You take it. Yeah, you, do you are need a so... helmet? I, no, because my, you're at the front line. My, I like my helmet. Your helmet is cool. It's like literally the one in my picture. Yeah, and yeah, it's ethereal. Cool. And so it's no, made. let's go first. Yeah. So let's, so let's, let's, let's hoard our money. I don't need it. And let's go straight to the night phase. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go straight to the night phase in this one. We did our city stuff already. Now we're doing our, we did star place action, gain a level. We don't, we can't do that. We cannot gain enough reputation, unfortunately, with a new rank. Do we have a new... We don't have enough of a reputation with any faction to go up. So we're going to go ahead and do a city event. This is a city location, city event. We are doing the city event right now. Ready for this, Mike? Mm -hmm. All right, city event comes out, and we are going to go ahead. Muggers at the dock. It is a peaceful night, and the two moons are reflected in the river. The insects are chirping loudly at Angler's Pier when you witness a brawl on a sailing boat. Three large thugs are beating up some weak-looking nithigrees. You approach close enough to get a better view and see two muscular burrios throw one of their victims overboard and stab the others. <laughs> Their Ignacio leader picks up a small casket and a pouch and motions them to move quickly towards the crevice, which splits the exalted bank in half. I okay. assume that's this thing majiggy over here. What do you do? Do we attack the muggers, spy on the muggers unseen, or wait until they are gone and then search the boat? I feel like B or C, but I don't feel drawn toward either. Like, I'm open to suggestions. Do you want to attack the muggers? I feel like we should just maybe spy on them and see what happens. Sounds like a plan. We're going to spy on them and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this giant book of thingies over here. 765. 765. We're going to go ahead and find out what's going on with the, uh, the muggers. What's going on? What's going on? Maybe it was a good murder. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. 765. What if they were bad people? Uh, maybe. Possibly. Spy on the muggers. You follow the big trio carefully, stalking them from the shadows. They are no strangers to the night either, advancing quickly and taking unexpected shortcuts. Each hero, okay, rolls, takes a test on their athleticism, and is then... Is this red dice? <clears throat> yes. And okay. how many? Is it just one die? Whatever your stat is, so your stat oh, is two. I see, I see. And then and I'm what's yours? Minus three. Okay, hold on. All right. Go ahead and roll your two. That's going to be three successes. Beautiful. Um, and unfortunately, it's not enough to do succeed. You need okay. six. Okay. Okay. You need six. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll. I need to get a little higher than you. And we got that over there. So we got one, two, three. That's already three guaranteed. You don't spend stamina. Four. That's not enough. Oh, no, no. I had, I had the one before, right? I had this. So there's this plus another one. So that brings me to five, right? I don't know. It was I one, I two. Was... No, so this is what it was. It I was, wasn't looking. Yeah, it was one, two, three, four. I re-rolled that because of the uh, the crit, and that brings me to five. Okay. You know the nice thing about the number five, Meg? You can pay. I can pay a gem to yeah. make that a six. Okay. We're going to pay a gem. Make that a six. If one or more heroes succeed, use a gem pile over there. I don't know. I'll put it on here. If one or more heroes succeed, read 273. Okay. Okay. 273. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, Sneaky. Sneaky. You follow the thugs to the dry riverbed, which is now an open air <laughs> I think sewer. You said it like a name. Sneaky. It's, well, it said sneaky over here. I know, but it, that feels like a title, but you said it like a name. Sneaky! Like, they like, yell. Sneaky! <laughs> you follow the thugs to the dry riverbed, which is now an open air sewer. They descend into the crevice, cross the sewer over a small bridge, and climb back up, ending up at the pit. The pit is a tavern of ill repute. Everyone knows its proprietor, Madame Yazoo, is very sympathetic to Shroud, a dangerous criminal organization. In mm -hmm. fact, it's this dangerous criminal organization. Yeah, we're tight with them. Yeah, we're tight. We're tight. We're friends. Choose one. Find your contact in the Sable Crown and tell him about this, or go after the thugs and have a drink in the pit. The pit. 
Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. You, we should go snitch on them? That's the other one? Snitches get stitches. Only if they get caught. It's either snitch or go have a drink. The pit, said like a name. You steal yourselves and approach the pit. The scarred Nithagree bouncer glares at you but lets you in. You order drinks and try to look around for some clues as, the thugs, as to the thugs. You bet on the jewels and order some more drinks. You mistake a drunken Boryat for one of the thugs, but she turns out to be a waiter. There is shouting and dancing and more drinks and a brawl and some more drinks. Each hero tests strength. Okay. I'll test. You can test that. Okay. I'll test first. So you have the same number of strength. All right. All right. Go ahead and test strength. I got oh, one, oh, oh, two, oh, 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 three. And then I'm going to roll again. And four, five, because those count as two successes. Success, gain an achievement gem. So well, I get my gem back. Need, what do you need? Five? A uh, four. Four. Yep. To All you. Right. I think it's guaranteed success for you as well. Yep, four. You're also going to get an achievement gem. Do we have them over there? Mm. If not, I'll have to grab them for you soon. Yes, I do. I thought they were in there. All right, them. that's it. That's it. That's the end of the uh, kind of anticlimactic over there, but that's know, the end of I our story. We were gonna get, I don't know. If we had way. snitched, maybe we would have. Snitches get stitches, stitched. but they also get information. Anyways, that's going to be our Margaret's of the Dock. That's going to be our event card over there. And now we go to the uh, city events. We can go ahead and after city events, we can spend our city activity points. Mm -hmm. To that end, I think I may as well work over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to work in fish. Okay. So to fight crime, I roll encounter die, which is one of these. Correct? Okay, yes. Ooh. Uh, the family saved you saved gains the other word gain five. Gain five. The family you saved gives you reward. Gain five. Yeah, it's pretty. Can you do that every round? Yeah, that's me fighting. Did you roll an eight? Yeah, I rolled an eight. Then you have to read the one below. Oh, oops. Oops. Indeed. You save a priest who says a prayer for you. Gain two and that thingy. What is that thingy? I don't know. It looks like something a oh. priest would give you. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have these here. I'll have to. Oh wait, one second. I think I got it. I think I got it. Right. Pass me your book. one of these tokens over here, so I'll go ahead and... It looks priestly. Priestly? It's going to be in here. Look for a blue one. Here, yes. how about this? How about this? You take <gasps> this. You do this while I do my event. Although that was only one of your events, right? Well, I'm going to fish. Go do I have to fish order. right now, or can you do your... I can do my, first, my action first. I'm going to go ahead and work overtime at the archives, I believe. Once this is out, work overtime at the archives. Uh, you stay late at the archive to earn some extra money. It's better than working at the docks. Working so. I'm going to go ahead and roll um, one of my intelligence dice over here. And I got one hit over here. Uh, success, gain three. I need a two. Fail, gain two. I'll just gain two money. Um, the limit does not exist. Can I pay two money? The token does not exist? Yeah. You don't have the token? I don't think it is like this. We can look elsewhere in a second. But I'll take two money in the meantime. I believe that's the token. I, like, this is totally the same shape, and it looks exactly like it should be in here. Are they double-sided by any chance? I don't check to the sides. We can go through it soon. Okay. Uh, that's going to be my first action, so I worked overtime at the archives. And then I can also... I already searched the Amethyst R thingy, so I could go ahead and... I could work at the docks. I guess I'll just work at the docks. There's anything else that's interesting to do. How do I fish? Uh, you just take a fishing action. You go ahead and you roll one die. Okay, that's going to be gain that. You get two money. And I think I'm going to go ahead and, you see, if you fish, you could possibly get as little as one, but you can also get three. Mm. So yeah, I'll go ahead and fish. My luck can't be that bad, right? My luck was that bad. I got one money. Oh. I got one money. Better okay. luck next time. And then from there, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, move over to the uh, vet, the inn, where I'm going to pay my full two money to place my action marker on the, the ravenous inn over here. I'm going to go there too. Okay, so you have to spend two money. I will. We're still hunting those tokens now. Well, no I sorted luck. them all, and they're definitely not in that pile. We might. Let me see the. We'll where's we'll your book? Where's we'll your book? We'll, we'll do it. We're we'll going in between. Do it. Uh, I think that's really it. After city events, spend city XP points, the section of apparel, visit locations, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the journey step. So, if you want to go ahead and grab a journey over there. Okay. I believe we only have one of those because the Beacon of Hope requires us to have things that we don't have It's yet. locked. We need the Orb of Ferox, the Orb of Agar item cards. Do we have one of those? I think we have one of those. I don't have one. You have a lot of items. It though. could be that this was the thing we unlocked. No, we may not have the Orb of Ferox, the Orb of Agar. I feel like that may be one of the things you have. But either way, we are going to the Twilight Watch. Well, maybe it's all going to happen here. 
Uh, the mysterious Callion has asked you to guard a warehouse in the Northgate district. Okay. Alright, let's head to the warehouse. So, we head to the warehouse, and then page, that's going to be 3440. Oh, there's no, no, no rules event right now. Okay, so we got to go to 3440 over there, which means we're getting this fun book back out over here. Can I have the tray back to put these back in while you... Absolutely. Thank you. 3440. I have to say, these trays are really nice. Journey. At dusk, you leave the ravenous Grivwin with Kaelion and walk up the street to the Round Market and then on towards the bridge connecting the secular bank with the Northgate District. The Northgate, the Northgate District is a shanty town where, animal drinks, where animals drink from the open air sewers and addicts sit on every doorstep. Questionable business is, con is conducted by shadowy figures in the small alleyways and you get a feeling you are being watched or even followed. For a fleeting moment, you realize that if Kaelion went to kill you, this would be the perfect place to do so. Instead, he sings an old song as he walks with you, something about the Nithgri goddess of old. That's it. That's, okay. I, I, I thought they were going to be going somewhere, but that didn't go somewhere. Very That's lucky. twice now I thought we were going to start go somewhere we didn't. Play the scenario. We're going to go to page 14, and we will see you shortly with the Twilight Watch, which oh, yeah. means... Hey, we got to find my token. Oh, we got to find your token. We do got to do that. But also, what do you do now? Oh, I know. And so we're ready to begin the Twilight Watch. We're diving into this. We're going to start with some flavor text, then talk to the scenario rules. But beginning with you walk through the entire North Great District before you reach an unremarkable wooden building leaning against the city wall. Here we are, Kayan says. He takes you in through the main door. Inside you are greeted by strange beast-like sounds and smells, as if you had just walked into a stable. You see no targles, though, but there is a cart on the back between the crates. Mm. My people will come around midnight to move those crates, Kayan says. You only have to stay here until then, but if there's any trouble, use whatever you can find. I don't want the warehouse compromised. After he leaves, you are left wondering what kind of cargo is transported at night. Mm. So, some additional setup stuff over here. We have reveal cards one and three, which we've done over here. These are two enemy cards already revealed. Set aside Razor Arrow Standee and Razor Thug Standee four. We've done them. They've both been set aside. I don't know past that what to do. Place a trap token on the area containing a thing. We've done that as well. Raid deck. Shuffle the four raid decks in the story deck face down and place them next to the scenario map to form the raid deck. So we're going to go ahead and do that. One of these is going to be cast off to the side, not in the scenario. So we're only going to encounter three of these random raid cards and then place the remove the remaining raid card from play. So additional scenario rules. At the end of the discard fate card phase in the second round, so when we get rid of our fate card in the second round, it's going to be the timer on the deck basically, we're going to reveal and resolve the top card of the raid deck. We go, each raid deck is going to start a timer, which if you've watched our previous scenarios, you'll see how those work, but we'll walk through it. Mm -hmm. And those timers are going to, um, each raid card will, it will have you spawning enemies and start a timer, which is going to be the clock in the game. At the end of the third raid card, we win the game if we have been, if all enemies have been defeated at the end of the scenario, if we alternately uh, are exhausted, or if there are undefeated enemies at the end of the third raid cards, then we lose. Uh, there's additionally, oh, no. there's Gramask Kate We lose here. if I'm exhausted? If, or if there's undefeated enemies. Oh. Are you already exhausted? Uh, yeah, we should try again in the morning. I'll adventure on my own. <laughs> Anyways, we got the Gramask Crate over here. The large wooden crate is marked with the emblem of House Gramask. How could their property end up here? A hero in an area containing this Gramask Crate over here can try to open it using a five strength with a crowbar giving two successes and an axe or shovel giving one. Crowbars are so fun. Do you have the crowbar? No, I have a pickaxe. I have a crowbar and a shovel, so I can basically all but guarantee that if I really want to. I mean, I'll have to make a switcheroo on my weapons, but I can do that. You have a lot of hands. I do have a lot of hands. I do have a lot of hands. And I dropped a card because my hands are not good enough. Okay, and with that, even hands. I think we're ready to start. Are you ready to go? Yeah, where do we start? Okay, we start by choosing. We're going to be starting over here, and we choose our actions for the round. So, just to let you know, Alex, for this scenario, yes. I do have quite a bit of glare, which is fine. Okay. But just kind of like, no, don't let me do anything stupid. Do you want one of those crowbars? Do you want the crowbar? No. Well, because you have one extra hand okay, over here. Sure. And this would help you, and then I, I can and use I was the like, axe. I like crowbars. Also, I realized something the mistake, which is I said here, it's really here, 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 and here. Crowbars make me feel safe. That's good. That's, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, uh, I, don't, I was going to make a joke about what makes me feel safe, but honestly, nothing makes me feel safe. So it is what it is. So you have the crowbar, and I have the axe or shovel. So I'll get plus one success on my rolls. So I have a chance. I have a chance to be influential in this particular scenario. Um, I think... Oh, there's all these walls. There's all these things to get past. There's all these double white lines you can't get to. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with an extra maneuver. Me too. There's no one on the board, nothing to see. And with that, we're going to go ahead and resolve the first timer card. This one over here. Nope, that one. Okay. 
And we have the following. I usually put it here. Uh, yeah, here it is. All right. So we're going to go with red first, then blue. Blue means you go. Okay. So. Yes. I have the crowbar. Mm -hmm. We assume I should go start just going toward here. I can just go this way. I think right? I have greater movement generally, so I was going to go here and then come back. I, I do have the hook and rope. Can I use that to... Uh, no, the hook and rope's only going to be useful for uh, height differences. This is not a height difference line. Right. All right. Well, then I can go the other way. Okay. Toward, I mean, either, yeah, I guess either way. Up to you. Navigate your path, pick your poison, all those fun things. Well, I can't really, I can't see any of that. Oh, what do you mean? You, okay. What's the issue? Um, so if you think you I should go, go that way, here. you can just move me. Yeah. Okay. So one, do it, how much moving? Are you spending uh, a stamina? Well, let me know. Can I get to a purple spot without? One, two, three. Wait, wait, you go one, two, three over here. Okay. Well. What's up? Uh, I'll, I'll do that in two. I'll use my extra, extra maneuver to get to there. So you are, so you're using extra maneuver? Right, so but I'm not going to spend the stamina. I'm okay. going to go one, two, one. Okay. One, two, and mm -hmm. then one. So that's yep. your two actions. Yep. Okay. Well, then I guess, is this just an interacting that I could yeah. move one out after? No. Once okay. I uh, no, it's a, it's test. a test. It's a test, so you should be able to move out after. Yeah. Okay. So I'll test and then leave. Well, I mean, I guess I'll see how I do. Okay. Go ahead and so, test. So, I'm testing two. Okay. You and got I have three, plus two. Plus your crowbar is five. So I already have it. Yes, you do. So. Success. Place a, place a token. Ooh, one? I might have the tokens here. I'm gonna put some of these tokens on in the meantime until I find them. We're gonna go ahead and place a uh, token on the chest over here. That's going to go over there. Beautiful. And uh, place a token on the token. This grammatical cannot be opened again. Roll a counter die for the loot. Do we have Ooh. a regular counter die? Ooh. We need a 10, up to 10. There we go. And you got, as a roll. Zero. Scrap metal token. Oh. That's going to be a regular old scrap metal. Oh. Yeah, it's not the best. Not the best. I mean, to be fair, that's zero to five, but. Here's some scrap metal. All right. And then if I can move one more, I'll just move one out again. Okay. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Um, my turn. We're going to move down to this track over here. I have an extra mirror. I'm going to spend the stamina and I'm going to go. Oh, interesting. Because I can only test this once per turn. I probably should have had you go there. Why? You don't think you're going to get it? It's just less of a guarantee. And if I don't get it, I feel like I've wasted my whole turn there. Um, hmm. Well. The other option, like going this way in general, is only for items. So maybe I, I say, should go that I say way. you should go this way anyway. And if you don't get it, move out and I'll come up here or whatever. I okay. I'll just get I'll spend I'll my stamina. You, you, you've literally got this and I'm just not worried. Uh, yeah, you're, you're less worried than I am. I'm going to go one, two. Over here, I'm spending three, so I'm going to be able to move you back out after. I'm going to roll two dice over here with my two strength. And I get plus one from my... Oh, I'm going to swap out my shovel over here for my ceremonial spear. Well, I guess we'll need this. And they're going to go ahead and get plus one success and plus whatever I roll. And we have that. We got three, four... I'm just going to spend this because I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to. I'm not happy with this at all. And we're going to go ahead and block that off. And in fact, let me give this to you because you have that repository over there. Because there's going to be an achievement that's like get all four of them. I'm going to roll this over here. Oh, better we're be, all of better them. be worth it. This should be a 10. Okay, let's get a 10. There is. Okay, 10 it's over a here. page. We got a four. So I got scrap metal. Okay. And that's my. And then action three. And then I'm going to spend a stamina to move again. And I guess I'll just move up to you because I don't want to go back here for nothing. It's like, it's so much work. Well, you if you get closer to me, I do have this channel energy ability that I could buff. And use it, and it's within range three, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. Yeah, that would be great, actually. That yeah, would sure. help you. Sure, whatever. Okay, that would help me. I mean, not you. <laughs> okay, that's the that's the turn situation. Although right. I could also do a focus instead. Once you're channeling energy, I could just do a focus. Get extra one extra die. Right. Either way, let's go ahead and start. Right. And grab a fate card. No, 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 fate card first. There we go. It's going to be our little, it's not actually a timer yet, because yeah. we're not starting yet. But next round, at the end of the next round, we're going to go ahead and start the uh, timer situation. Okay. And now this? Uh, no. Now we choose now we our <laughs> I will I go decided. ahead and choose focus. I'm Should gonna, I channel energy on you? Uh, no need. I'm going to use focus, no which need. should give me plus. Uh, I guess channel energy actually is better, because that really is two extra dice. And it's, yeah. It's yeah, so fine. So I'll still come extra maneuver, and you can give well, me the channel energy. Well, but you can focus and channel energy. That's so many dice. That's an obnoxious level of dice. Do it once. No, yeah. no. It's so, I'll use to do it when I'm fighting an enemy, not now. <coughs> that could be fun though. All right. So you want me to do it? Uh. Well. Oh. Here's the problem. What if you go first? Then we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll go first. Okay. I have to go first. Maybe if you don't go first, I meant. I'm okay. going red. You're going red. Uh. Okay. Cool. Draw a sequence card. And we have red going first. 
plus extra maneuver. You get rewarded for your Ooh, kindness. I should have focused. There's no bad guys. If I would have focused. I know. Yeah. And I told you to. I, I told know, you. I know. Oh my god, if I did that, would have been really It would have been cool. <sighs> Anyways, you go first. All right. Um... All right, so I will do the channel energy. Beautiful. So you give me a channel energy token. I don't know if it goes on you yeah, or on me. On you. my board is good enough. I'll, uh, <laughs> you or you. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it over here. Whichever. I'll put it there. It's a good reminder. Oh, that's true. Um, and that then, for context for those who don't know, that's gonna give me an extra two dice on my next roll. And then again, I just can't really, especially with the double mm -hmm. lines, I can't tell the map. But if you can get me to another, we got crowbar explore thing. zones over here, here, and here. Um, there's another crowbar thing all the way down here, as well as an Yeah, I'll work my way that way. Okay, so you're spending stamina? Uh, how many spots away is it? One, two, three, four, five. So you could do a regular move and a stamina yeah, move. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So I'll do... The regular move will let you see this. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, sorry, the stamina move will let you see this. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Okay, so one, two, three, that's your first move. We're gonna go ahead and look at card F. This is our first card. It's our first card! It's the last card, too. Strong box. This heavy crate is reinforced with metal corners and studs and a sturdy lock. The scratch marks on the floor indicate the strong box was dragged into the warehouse quite recently. At a range of zero, you can try to break it open, and a crowbar gives two successes. Cool. Yeah, All right. Okay. Well, I'll move on to it and get okay. in that range. So as soon as you move on to it, you can go ahead and do, make a test. This is going to be three per player, so six plus five, and it is a one that can hold on, so you can we can accumulate successes. Okay, and remind me what my blessing thing does. I get an automatic success added. Your blessing is after your roll, you can add a die. Okay. And discard the blessing token. Oh, oh yeah, fun fact, we uh, didn't tell you this. We're using the toggle token as our missing blessing token because we find still can't tokens. find it. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to save that for combat. Well, you can do it after the roll anyway, so it's no, no, you don't need to decide. Okay. Not that you're getting 11 round one. Right. Whoa, what, no, Wait, I, take I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. You are getting 11 round one. Okay, not that you're getting 11 round one. Four. That's four, plus your success of two from the crowbar means you're getting six this round alone. Six. And you can test it next round too. So if you want to pass me a counter die. How much does it need? The black dice, the black dice. Uh, it needs 11. Three per player plus five. Okay, six over here. We got the six successes against that. All right, and then I'll move on to the other thing and test that. Uh, do you have an axe in your hand? You don't. You're not, you're not holding an axe. I could. You, you weren't. I could be, you no. weren't. You could. I mean, you could. Does it want me to? Uh, you, both of them require two hands, so you wouldn't be able to do the crowbar too. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it doesn't right. matter. Um, okay, and now you're moving towards this little zone over yeah. here with your last movement, which means you can go ahead and uh, roll a, a strength five against this bad boy. That's going to be three. Well, well, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. That okay. is Okay, so you already have one. You have a guaranteed two, three. three. So if you spend two stamina, it's yours. Or one of those, but yeah. okay. I wouldn't do that. And now we can go ahead and cover that marker up and roll a die. Well, a 10 oh, yes. oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. See what you got. I get treasure. Oh, that's not. A, oh, it counts. Ah, it counts. It clearly counts. It, it clearly fell out counts. No, no, I, that was intentional. Oh, my God. I that was intentional. Count, but it counted. That was intentional. Uh, Lanium bar token. Okay. What's it's this negative number? What negative number? What's that little thingy? That little. It's, it's the cancel. Oh, thingy. these are supposed to be. One second. What side, what side is this? Oh, they have it on. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Good. A uh, ten landing bar tokens. So you get a landing bar tokens. Obviously, an intentional roll, like we said already. You should go ahead and find one of those for you. Here we go. Some landing bars. Okay. See so some three money over there. I don't know why I was so excited. It's only three money. I know. <laughs> I want well because like, we were gonna redo it and then it was a ten. But I really want that. That's a one in ten chance of hitting that. Is it right. one in twelve? It's one in twelve, isn't it? Yes, one in twelve. I believe that's everything for me. Okay, that is everything for you. No, it's... wait. Could I move down again? No. No. Okay. Not this turn. All right, to my turn. We're so excited about that tennis a little bit. I know, I know. <laughs> it's like we won the game. <laughs> I, I do run, wonder, if you roll a loot with a possible trap, interesting, there's possible traps on some. Yeah. Six, seven, eight to nine has possible traps. All right, in the meantime, I currently have your blessed token over here. I'm going to go ahead and spend one, two, three. I I'm going to spend a stamina. Right now, like... Sushi? Yeah, I what think What prompted I'm, that? I think I'm just hungry. Is this related to the gameplay in the slightest or just in general I'm, notes? I think I'm hungry. Just Let me know in the comments play. below what you think I had for dinner after this. Did you want sushi? Is that is that what's happening? I don't a know. Poke bowl is also sounding good, poke which bowl, is like the is, same, but different. Yeah, that's 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 what's interesting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go here. One, two, three, onto that zone over here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and roll. I get to roll four dice and discard your blessing you back to you. I do, and if I don't, I mean, I think it'd be impossible not to hit that. There we go, five. So that's five. You really gotta roll better. It doesn't matter. It's a five. I, it, it's a five. Know, it's a clean five. Give me anxiety. We're gonna roll this roll. over here, and we're gonna get that. It's gonna. You have to do the shaking thing, right? Shaking yeah. thing, shaking thing. We get that, and we. <gasps> oh! <laughs> give me the book. Give me the book. Give me the book. 
That was amazing. <laughs> the shaking thing. Oh. I told you it no, mattered. You're right. You're right. It you're right. literally could you're right. not have served me better that way. 672, yeah. How do I find it? Just look in numeric sequence. It's not page That's the wrong book. I was like, none of these have numbers. That's the wrong book. Oh, There's go. a bunch of letters in that 672. one. 672. <laughs> I'm too I'm too distracted by our ten and then our that. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay. You guys, you saw it here first. What six what? 672. Dirty old brags. There's no, there's nothing but some dirty old rags in the crate. But wait, what is something wrapped in the rags? You unravel them to find a valuable gleam root herb. Gain a gleam root token. It's a certain kind of root. There's a, I think those are the fives. It looks like a bloody kind of root. Yep. That one. Thingy. Okay. Well, <laughs> I would love how happy that. You can discard it to gain five it stamina or five health. Our day. It did make our day. You know. Do you what? think you get that again if you get that again? Yeah, absolutely. Except the only problem is I think we did all the crates. Oh. Unless that's more. amazing. But yeah, we did all the crates. That was it. We've done our thingy. Oh, okay. I thought there was one more up that way. Nope, not at the moment. All right, well we're okay. Amazing. And I still have another maneuver left, so I'm gonna go Me ahead and, and I will spend another stamina to go ahead and go. Oh, interesting. I think I'm gonna recover. I'm gonna yeah. recover instead Good because idea. I think that we're about to have enemies, and I'd like to see a little more what's going on. Got a lot of enemies. Okay. All right, so I should draw this next, mm -hmm. and then do we draw the people right away? Uh, do we draw the people right away? Yes. Oh, right now. So right we're now, it says over here. Um, at the end of the discard, at the end of the discard, fate card plays in the second round. Reveal and resolve the top card of the raid deck. So again, these are random in order, but we currently have the following. Oh boy. Okay. Read the next raid description. Spawn one razor arrow for each circle on the map. Which circle? What do you mean circle? I don't know what that means. Spawn one razor thug for each square on the map. Is this a thing that I should know? Read the next raid description. Place the chapter in the area contained. Oh no, that's just the map. That's just a picture. It's just a picture. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Razor saying. thugs go in the square. So oh, so I should have the tokens over here. We're gonna have razor thugs. We're gonna have razor thugs go in squares, razor which thugs. means we need two of them. They don't need... sound nice. Okay. So we're gonna put one guy over here, like so, and then one guy over here, and one guy over here. Can we get bases for these? You should have some bases over there, yes. small bases. Timer Draw twelve. Draw three of them. Yep. Okay. And that's gonna be one. This feels dangerous. Here, I got these two over here. I kind of want Mexican street corn. Are we still on food? Do we need a, like a, a food break? Is that what's happening here? I'm I'm unsure. Got a two. I'm just providing entertainment. It's entertainment. Can we get um, some dice? Three dice we need. The archer. The who's, black ones? Uh, the red ones. You okay. need these? Yep. So I'm going to take the two. I'm going to take the one for the archer. Those two both get 10 health for a two and five. And this one gets um, eight health on one. That's too much, Al. Okay. Read the next raid description. Is this uh oh, a you're supposed to read the front. I don't know if it matters. On your guard, the sounds of the Northgate district penetrate the walls of the warehouse. Drunken singing, muffled cries, hog girls howling, glass shattering, any of these could be signs of thugs attacking, or just the regular noise of the shantytown. Perhaps you let your guard down and explore the warehouse in peace, or perhaps aggressive thugs are just around the corner. Your nervous anticipation is broken when you hear a loud crash at the doors. I think it's the same description for all of them. Mm. But anyways, uh, that's the, the thugs we started. Oh, wait, one second. One second, I apologize. We are not playing at three or four players. This person should not be in the map. Beautiful. Get him out of here. Get him okay. out of here. So he's gone. We can put it off to the side, and then we continue our, our journeys. So next round, select carefully. All right. So how far away am I from that guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dun 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 I'm ready to go, I think. I'm doing a aimed shot at this guy. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'm gonna I take can't him out. even reach mine. So there's something at E that I didn't interact with yet, right? Uh there's also F you still have to resolve and E you have not got to close. Oh enough. no, I didn't resolve that. Yeah, F is not resolved yet. You have six out of the eleven. Well maybe I'll focus. Focus indeed. Alright. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and resolve the next card. Okay. 
we have red going first, although red enemy is going first, that's going to be the Razor, Razor Thug. Thug. So Razor the Thug is going to go ahead and go. He's activating with this ability, which means he's moving three. One, two, three over there. Beautiful. Uh, that's going to help you a bit. And then he's slicing and nothing else. Nothing's happening. All right. Okay. To you. Right away? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so I will... You have to go on to its test. Yep, I'll move there and test. Okay. And I'm not going to spend extra to move this okay. turn. So I'm just testing, which is three dice this time. Three dice plus your two default. That's already uh, That's five. five right there. And that would already do it, right? Yeah, it would. Yeah, right, so. you're done. So you can go ahead and flip. Strong box cracked. Reveal and resolve a trap card immediately. Oh no. Oh no, no. <laughs> find the trap cards. You open the strong box and find some stolen house penmark property, a leather vest and a shield. Gain item card 17 and 18. So we'll do the trap card in a second. But you're getting card item cards 17 and 18. If you want to give me a second over here? Kill, kill, kill. Although, do I have to worry about what I can carry? Uh, you probably do at some point. Here's 17 and 18. Yeah, so I think technically I can't carry all of that. Uh, what's your carry limit? You have five, five. And you currently have one, two, three. Can I put this on my body? Uh, well, you should be able does to. Does that count as the weight against I it? I don't. I'm just not going to use them yeah. right now. And we'll see what counts against your weight. But Because I guess you don't ever have to lose anything. You just can't use, carry it all. I'd have to double check. All right. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and resolve a trap card. All right. We're going to go ahead and have you shuffle up one of these over here. <laughs> Choose a trap card. Um, how about we don't? How about we do? What can happen? We'll find out. Okay. Arcane Blast. So, you're going to go ahead and I resolve at range one is going to hit everything there, and you're going to have to roll an intelligence test against defensively. So, roll two blue dice. I am focused. You are. You get three blue dice. Good point. Okay, okay. Three blue dice, and you're rolling against five. I'm glad I focused. Yep. <laughs> and I'm still blessed? Yep. Okay. That's four, five. Nice. And it's a magic attack, which I believe means you should have plus one as well. Yep. That's so a full five. five. You get no 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 hit. You uh, defensively defend against the arcane blast. Now why does it say enemy not only? I'd have to oh, double check. I think they would gain that token. I'd have to double check that as far as how I have to look up traps how they work. I'm gonna move past it for right mm -hmm. now, but uh, look for the pin comment That's on how that would work. All right, so that was a trap. <laughs> it was indeed a trap. But that was. You still have one movement. Yeah, so I'll just move up. Okay. And I had focused, so yeah, I believe okay. that's all for what I did. There we go. And then to me, it's going to move on to the next thingy, which is going to be uh, blue enemies. So blue enemies are going to move. Where's the blue enemy? The, the archer is going to go before me, and he's going to go ahead and resolve a middle action over here, top action. So he's going to move one. He doesn't need to move to hit me, it looks like, so he's not going to bother moving. He's going to do an aim shot uh, against me, and I'm rolling a strength-based defense. So, I'm going to be rolling a strength-based defense against him, so I'm going to get two blue dice, and I'm going to see what I get. I'm not rolling an extra you dice. You should have focused. I'm, I'm shooting kidding, him. I'm, I'm shooting him. Yeah, that's true. I hope we got two. Him. He's going to hit me for two damage, it looks like. I don't think I have any defense against. I do have a uh, Keeper's Rose, but that's against, that's against a um, magical attack. So, I'm going to take two damage over there. That's going to be two damage against me, which means now it's time for me to resolve and react by taking my own turn, where I will go ahead and go, and I'm going to maneuver... I guess I don't need to maneuver. I could shoot him right now. I'm going to spend a stamina to shoot him right now where I'm at. And that's going to be a three dice plus my bow attack over here. So I'm rolling one to three. I'm going to do three dice over here. Where are the red attack dice over here? Here we go. I'm going to roll these. And we got one, two, three. Can I get another die? What color red? Yep. And we got Ooh. two. So I have the following. I have four, five, and up to six, seven. He only has eight if I spend one, I can take him out this chest. Do it. That's one less. He gets a, even an yeah. entire less action. I think so. I think I'm going to go and one-shot him. So I'm going to spend the one to one-shot him. And then I'm going to spend the two stamina to get to the seven. So it's going to be one, well, two, three, one four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah, yours has ten health. It's a little harder. So I'm going to kill this guy. And I believe he drops a money. So mm. it's going to be helpful over there. So we're going to drop money. Can you pass a money over here? And then I get to move. And I'll go ahead and move using one. And I'm going to go... One, two, three, over there to gather that coin. Beautiful. And that's my turn. And is that everything? Yes. That's the round. Yeah. Okay. 
So now mm -hmm. draw this. Uh, I'm just looking. I feel like I might be missing something, but it looks all good to me. Yeah, go ahead and draw that. That's our timer. You still so never use your this die. This is going to go against. I still have it. Actually, yeah, I should do that. This is going to be our timer on this card over here. Once we get a timer of 12, we're going to reveal the next raid card. Okay. Now, it, can only one person be on my spot? Uh, yes. Great. Yes. Okay. And you're choosing. I guess if you're choosing I'm that. I'm going to choose Choose Dragon. Try to. I want him to walk toward me. I could Dancing Blade it, but I still like my aim shot better. Although my Ceremonial Spear is not bad. Maybe I'll go with Dancing Blade it, but if he walks towards you, I won't be able to hit him. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with yeah. aim shot. I'm going to stick with aim shot. Let me hit him. You Don't you have to do this stuff? There's nothing over here. It's all, it's all wall. I need to head around over there. I'm going to help you out. I'm helping you out. This is a team effort. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and resolve the next sequence. Initiative card. Okay, they're all going to go first, and he is looking like he wants to be mean this turn. So he's going to do his snake little head thing, Majiggy, which I don't think, what does it say on top of there? Plus one to the attack this turn. Oh, that's mean. And then he's doing the lowest level, so he's going to be moving two. So uh, I think you, both of us I are equidistant. You have the highest taunt. So one, two. And he's going to hit you for the lowest attack, which is going to be a three, three hit, which is going to be a four hit now. So it's going to be a four hit, and um, that's basically that. Plus the, 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 the symbol there, which we'll look up shortly. Okay. For it, so you're rolling blue dice against it. Do you see the blue dice? We got some over here. Okay. And I'm rolling. Oh, he's crippling you, I think. No, I'll check not. it. Can I stop it? Well, find out, but I don't think so. What if I kill him back? That's yeah, I don't an care excellent if he cripples chance. me. Actually, yeah. go ahead. Let him. Um. You get one fewer moving point on the next uh, thingy. Okay. I'm sorry, I rolled three. You roll two dice. Two. Because you have to hit three. His attack is strength four. I got you, I got you're you. You're rolling two dice. And it's not. It's a, not magic. Yeah. Yeah, not everything's going your way. Just and, most things. And it, could I put this on? Uh, that would be good yeah, to Yeah, you should be able to. You should be able to wear it for sure. The only question is whether it counts against your weight. Well, even if it did, I could have this and I would drop the shield. Okay. So what does that mean, though? Uh, you get to what's it called? Those, that symbol rolls plus one. Oh, okay, okay. If it's a strength based attack. So you got one defense. So you're taking three hits. Okay. Should I use my thing? I think I might. This lets me add an extra die. Add an extra die. All right. I'll the spend, blessed token is gone. I'll spend it. That's okay. another one hit. So you take two wounds. Okay. That's not the worst. Okay. And then after him goes uh, your turn. No, it goes blue. So blue. So I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna spend a stamina to be able to get one, two, three. And then I'm going to shoot him from the rear using my aim shot. So I'm going to roll three dice. I'm getting a little weak over here, so I'm going to have to spend some time recovering next turn. He'll be okay. But I'm going to use three dice for my bow attack over here. And we're going to hit him for one. Ah, that was nauseating. If you want it to be a solo initiative, um, oh, this guy's dead. That guy needs to be hit. And this one's not alive. It should be only this guy in play. So he goes down to nine. Sorry. That was, that was nauseating. My, yeah. my very strong attack was balanced out by uh, yeah. as weak as you can get. Alright. Okay, to you. Oh, for some reason I felt like I went first. Um, alright. So now I'm gonna attack with True Strike for three damage. Three damage. Okay. And then he's not in my spot, which is great because only one person can be there. So I'm gonna recover. Um, and I'll recover to these. Okay. I did that right, right? I believe so. Oh, no, wait. I get an extra damage here From as well. your sword, yes. My correct. sword doesn't yep. extra... I thought I was a little bit stronger. Okay. There we go. That makes more sense. All right. Okay. Uh, that's your turn, and that means we draw a timer card. It's going to go over here ah. on our four. So we're at four out of 12. And we choose our initiative for the next round. No. And four or six? Six total out of 12. Sorry. And I'm going to choose my next initiative. I might just recover. Do you think you got this? Sure. I guess I could recover an attack. Should I recover an attack? No. You have it, right? Yeah. I'm totally sure? Oh, for sure. Okay, then I'll do recover. How could I not kill them? I hear you on that. Alright, are we just ready to go? We're ready to go. We're on the next card. <laughs> uh, we are... You're going last. Last, last. But you do get extra maneuver out of it. Great. And I'm going to go ahead and recover twice, so I'm going to recover my two health, as well as recovering three stamina. Great. Okay, that's my recovering. Then he's going to attack me. Then he's going to attack you. Guy. Yeah, this big guy attack, he's going to uh, just hit you for three. 
And you got one over there. So two. And then you got uh, hit you for two damage, yeah. Okay. And then it's your and turn. That's all. All right. So I will fight him back. That seems reasonable. So I will choose strike. Okay. So you could. You're automatically doing plus yeah, one do from it. this. So you're spending two plus two. Yeah, that would do. That would be five. Yeah. Yeah. So I spend these here. Yep. And he's dead. He's dead. He drops a coin. He drops a coin. And then you and have then two maneuvers. I have two maneuvers. So, and as soon as I step on the coin, I got it? Yep. Do you want the coin? I got plenty of coins. All right. Because I might double recover for now. I think I will. So I'll recover my two wounds and two stamina. All right. Okay. A little bit better. And that's going to be that. Timer card. We have two. another two. It's going to be a slow moving timer. Okay. Uh, and then we go to the next round. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to do extra maneuver. Yeah, we're just not? trying to run around now. Or alternatively, do I want to, if I go one, two, three, no, that's not enough. Are you within three of me? I'm within three of you. You yeah. want me to hashtag bless you? Hashtag bless me. But I only want you to go first. But yeah, I'll do yeah, that for you. Yep, yeah, that works. All right. Okay. All right. Ready? That way I can jump to these two and hope this tests. Red does go first. Alright, so I will give you this. Hashtag blessed. It only and helps me for one of them though. Huh? It I'm realizing it only helps me for one of the two tests, but that's okay. No, I think it's the whole time. No, you have to guess to guard the token when it's done. Yep. Yeah, that's I thought that's it was for, for the turn. No, fo focus is for the turn. Mm. Hashtag blessed is only for Not that one good. minute that you use the hashtag online. All right, I will recover two more and stay where I am still. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my extra maneuver to go ahead and move. So I'm gonna spend one stamina to be able to move in three. I'm gonna go one, two, and we're gonna flip over E. Can we see E? I still have one movement left. Can we see an E? E. Too cute to ignore. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got the animal? A malnourished moncoon is whimpering in one of the cages. Baby. Were they going to feed it to some bigger beast? Oh. Help the moncoon. You could flip. just not help it. So it I'm going to spend the extra maneuver to help it. Do you want me to leave it alone? Well, I was saying so I could be the one. Well, I, it's, it's actually... Okay. <laughs> it's not no, good. tactically it's not the worst. Because here's the question. Do we think there's a test on the other side of this? Right. Because if there's not, then I would have to stop moving which I already paid for the extra movement, and give up the test. It's not the craziest thing to know this is here and let you deal with okay, it. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> there better, the better not, not be a test on the other side, because if there is a test, that's where I'll feel bad. So we're going to leave this here. It's a tactical move. All right. I'm going to go three over there, and then I'm going to spend another stamina to again go one, two, three. So I'm going to go C. Can we get a C? And I still have two movement left, assuming it doesn't make me spend a maneuver or whatnot. Super fuzzy creature. Okay. We're going to have a super fuzzy creature, Gramask Wagon. The wagon blocks the wagon. access to the corner of the warehouse, but there is no toggle to draw it. You remember, Harry, oh. that House Gramask has recently lost a wagon like this when the bandits of the Sable Crown ambushed them. So, we're going to go ahead and as, at range zero, which I'm, I'm at, with tall girls. I can go ahead and roll four dice because you uh, hashtag blessed me. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll four dice. And we have a one. Okay, I need. Well, we've we got one, two. Let's take another red die if we have one. I have one. Okay. That's a three, and then we have these over here. And it's also a strength-based test, uh, that means nothing, that's nothing. So we are basically going to spend two of these over here to be able to make that five and accomplish the success of the strength-based test. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Oh, oh, we got a new you line. Push it out of the way. We've now actually are no longer blocked over here, and we can uh, benefit from this situation wow. over here. Good job. I think it's like this, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can actually go, and I have two more movement. Ooh. Do I want to go to uh, the A over there? I guess so. This token's over here. I'll go one, two. Let's. Can we see an A? A. I was wondering how we'd get into there. A crate closed. This crate has a strong magical aura, indicating there's something enchanted inside. Or perhaps the coffer itself is a mag magicism of sort. <laughs> a, a ma you read that word. Magin magin magicianism. 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 Bless you. It may even indicate a source of trap. Make that card disappear. Magicianism. Uh, break the crate open. We're going to go ahead and okay. um, we have this test over here. Well, we have the toggle still. We're still going to leave that in play. 
We have this test over here. We can go ahead and crowbar That's and not shovel toggle. axe. Not toggle. I, I meant the the, 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 the the Moncoon. It's, I was going to say, it's so not a great I'm going to roll two toggle. dice, and we're doing another 11 strength test over here. And wow. Do I have any magnifications? I do not. So 11 strength test. And we have one. Yeah, I just We have one. one. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to take I'm counter die, and we're going to put that there. Okay, perfect. That right. is, that's the situation. All right. Counter. We three. got a three, so we're at a grand total of still not enough. We're on the cusp. Though. Yeah, we are on the cusp. Um. All right, so Alex, question mm -hmm. for you. Yes. For me to get to that cute one. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And you spend a maneuver when you're there. Ugh. So next turn. Butts. Butts indeed. Well, if I move just three, if I am I within three of you again? No. Okay. One, two, three. No, you're not. Okay. And I potentially wouldn't be. I'm doing a focus, personally. I'm going to just focus and stay there and just roll extra dice. All right. Well, then I guess I'll extra maneuver. You okay. Next initiative card. And we have you first. All right, so if it's going to take me another turn to get there anyway, yep. I'll move two and two. One, two, one, two. Oh, did I lie? One, two, one, two. Oh, if you spend one stamina, you'll be there. Right, but, it, but oh, I have to spend the you maneuver. Spend, yeah. You're right. Okay, yeah. yes, then I will. Okay. Yep, and, and then, then I get, get the coin. coin. Yay! Beautiful. You're prepped for next turn. And then it moves to me over here, where I can go ahead and roll three dice on my focus turn to see how this goes. Oh, wait, first I will um, heal some stamina, because why not? I'll see you with the token back. Okay, so I'm heal stamina for my first action, recover stamina, and I'm going to roll three dice to test that. And we got, wow, these rolls are abysmal. 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 I'll be sitting there focusing again next turn. I'm Speaking coming, of which, let's go ahead and grab a card and see how this raid activates, because I think we're finally getting a raid, raid. with a two. These numbers are so low. I think so I'm actually going to spawn <laughs> Yeah, well, well, spawn points are variable based on the cards. Okay, next raid is coming to play. It's going to be raid one over here, raid three, whatever. We have, read the next raid description. Reveal card four. Oh, do we have an enemy four over here? Yeah, we do. Okay. So, reveal card four. Let's go ahead and put this somewhere. Let's put this here for a second. We got a uh, Galem of Ambergate. Ooh, he, he's interesting. Spawn one razor arrow for each circle on the map. That's a four-player game. Spawn one razor thug for each thingy. Spawn Galem of Azur game. Oh, I think... I apologize. I think I misread it last time. Yeah, see this over here? Mm -hmm. That's... These circles are more razor thugs. I thought I was saying the square spawns. So we should indeed have another razor arrow. A okay. razor thug. So we're going to drop the razor thug on the board. He's going to spawn a little late, but he's here now. And he's, uh, can we get 8 health on, 10 health on him. 10 mm -hmm. health on number 5. Okay, so he's spawning late. We're, we're making okay. up for our mistakes. And then we are going to spawn this one over here. Where we are going to spawn a circle. Uh, this is going to be number 1. is going to spawn over here again. So number, I got 8 health on this one. Okay. And then we're going to spawn a triangle, which is going to be uh, the Galen of Ambigate. We'll get him a second. And another circle down here. So we're going to get another 8 uh, for number four. Oh, that's, oh. that shouldn't be number four. We need we need a different one. I'm gonna. Put, I can grab a different. If number. you want to grab number two for me. I have six, seven, and four. I think you have Abigail specifically four. If I'm not mistaken. I thought you already had one on it. No, so I think it's supposed to be four specifically. But we'll grab it. Okay. Wait, and I, I need two. I need uh, token thingy. I got two. I got two. Hey, okay. so we got this guy. And then we're going to have Galen of Ambigate, who specifically is four, the one we set aside, and he's going to be a 15 healther. Mm -hmm. I assume it's supposed to be four. Honestly, I'm not 100. Use Razor Thug, thug Standy four. Yes, there we are. Okay. So we have another person in play. He's going to spawn over here. He specifically has 15 health. Do you want another sheet for him near you? No, we'll or... use that sheet. We'll use that sheet. Okay. So we just need two dice, and he's health 15. But he's using a different card. All right. Okay. And that's the uh, situation. That was the end of last round. We prep for this round. Great. I'm still going to go ahead and just focus. I'm at the cute thing. You're at the cute thing. Oh, I want to save it, obviously. Let's save it. You got time. I got time. All right, I guess I'll focus. Okay. You think there is a test? You're not sure. I assume there might be. The only reason I passed up on it is that some there's no test. I, yeah, well, I figured it was a, not as important test as something you were going to go and do. Uh-huh. 
Very. You wanted the raccoon. Mon coon. Uh, let's go to reveal. Reveal the sequencing. The initiative cards. We have blue enemies activating first. So we'll have Galen of Ambergate's going to go ahead and go. He's going to activate his middle ability. He's going to move three. Uh, one, two, three. Ooh. What? Ooh. Are you serious? Oh, yes, indeed. And he can hit you. Are you serious? Unfortunately, yes. Again, you focused. You got defense. <laughs> uh, he's going to hit you with Blade Blitz. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and roll three dice. And you did three defense against his Blade Blitz. So you take one damage. Okay. It's a speed-based attack. He is pretty intense. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and have the Razor Arrows are going to activate as well. There's two of them. They're both activating with the middle level as well. So they're going to be moving two, one, two, and one, two. And I'm pretty sure this guy can attack you, unfortunately, because it's range two. But again, you're only three dice. You're only three dice. You're totally fine. Okay, totally fine. Okay, okay. And you take one damage. I'm sick of taking damage. Why is it that you're always the one who takes damage in these games? Dude, I literally feel attacked. And why is it that every time it happens, you're like, I don't want armor. Because I'm pretty sure we've had that conversation too. I'm doing fine. You're doing fine. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. And I then like we're going to go ahead. This time. We're going to have red people go. So you can go ahead and go and deal with your thing first. Great. Let's focus on the cute thing. I don't even have an attack right now. Focus and flip. Okay. Just to remind everybody, this one's too cute to ignore. A malnourished moncoon is worth bringing one of the cages. Were they going to feed it to some bigger beast? Ironically, I ignored it. Cute critter. The furry moncoon snuggles in your arms, purring gently. It's way too friendly to feed to something else, but returning it to its owner might be lucrative, or you could keep it for yourself as a pet. I think we know what's happening. Place this card below your hero board. You may give this card to a hero in the same area as your hero on your turn or theirs. So you literally could have just taken it. I could have just taken it. But I would have spent the maneuver. Yeah, and but I that, that, that's correct then. So I yeah. didn't need to. And your focus wasn't wasted because you got attacked twice. Look at us. Perfect planning. And I'm going to get attacked again. Exactly. Oh, why? Because am I moving away? Well, not this turn. <laughs> not this turn, I right. assume. Okay. So, oh yeah, and I had to spend my minute. And then I get to go. I'm going to go ahead and roll three dice on that uh, test again to see what we can do. And we got one, two, three. So I could make it five. We're currently only at four. So is it even worth it? No. But it'll help the next I turn. I would save your stuff. It'll help the next turn. People are going to come and kill me. Yeah, I'm going think... to spend two to, to open it. So I have to make it a total of five which means we're going to bump to nine, which basically means that next turn I don't have to focus. Next turn I can go out and help you. Is my spot a one spot? And then I'm going to spend three to recover. Is my spot a one it spot? It is a one spot. That's good. That, well, if it had been a two spot, he wouldn't have attacked you. Technicalities. Is his spot a one spot? Or his spot is a one spot. It's a two spot. Okay. And that's uh, that, which means the last thing we do is we go to the last enemy over here, which is going to be this guy. And this guy is, unfortunately, what's the Razor Thug doing? He's going to move two. And he's not able to attack you, so you're fine there. One, two. Okay. That's the situation. We got this bot on the board. And now we go ahead and... Uh, and wait, what, was, what is that? That he would do his extra attack, but he's not attacking you. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Good and we thing. go ahead and uh, draw an initiative card. A whatever card. Timer card. We have a three on a timer. What is the new timer? Is it 12 it's again? Right. It's 12 again. Yeah. So we have a three on a timer. We're at five total. And we get to choose our actions. And I believe... I believe this is going to be flipped unless I roll terribly, which is possible. I have rolled terribly, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get some uh, aim shots in to help you out. Yeah. I think I can only just sit here and fight, which is fun. Okay. And we go ahead and flip the card. Let's see what we got. Sorry, I just want to remember what... Okay. Let's see. We got a... All right. Red enemy goes first. Basic red enemy. There's only one of them. Um, he's going to move forward and hit you. There's space in the zone, which means you don't have to move to attack them, though. Now that they've done that, you don't have to move to attack. Oh, so two. Which one did he attack with? He attacked, um, sorry, I apologize, over here. He attacked for his regular strength attack. Did you have something for that? Why do I feel you have something for Oh, you do, but not enough. Okay, you take one damage. Okay. Just slowly pinging away at you. I'm fine. Okay, then after that goes red I have us. A now. And then after them goes, they're going to go now. So, with it, because we go last. No, you're green. You're green. You get to go before them. So you have to right, choose, are you striking Galem or are you striking the Razor Thug? I mean, I guess I'll strike Galem, whatever. Let's kill them. Okay. I think, I don't know, should I do the other one? It's faster to kill him, which is the upside. Unless you can get 15 health, it means it's probably better for us, but not a guarantee. Okay. It's not clear. I can make an argument either way. Right. I guess I'll attack the other one first. Okay. So two. Oh, I apologize. You should have one health more. Uh, this guy, when he shot, was obstructed by other enemies, I believe. 
Ah. I have to double check the rules for line of sight, but I'm 99% sure that that is one of the obstructions, so he'd have one less success. All right, so I have two. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. Okay. And I think I'll leave it at that. Okay. Drops to five. And then I have an extra maneuver. I will recover these. Oh. Okay. All right. And that's that, which means it's time for them to go. Uh, they're going to go ahead and go, and Galen will start, and he'll start with a basic attack. He's doing a Blade Blitz again, so you're rolling two defense against this time. Ah, uh, it's going to be three damage to you. It's not great. Honestly, things are not great, great right now for you. Oh, I know. Uh, then the Archers are going to go, and the Archers are going to... This one's going to just straight up shoot at you, I believe, because he can't move closer, so he can't get that. So he will be rolling one less dice, or you'll be rolling, sorry, be doing one less attack. And so he's you have to roll two defense against two attack. That's two damage to you. It's not the best. Do you have anything you can discard that will like help? No. Okay. Uh, then this archer is going to go ahead and move. He's going to go one, two, and he's going to shoot you. And again, you have to roll against two defense. And that means you can take one damage. So you're still fine for now, but if you take more damage, you're in trouble. So um, that might be a wound situation coming up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and an injury. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. I will test this over here. So I'm going to be rolling two dice and hopefully hitting it because I imagine that's doable. There we go. That's going to be two already. So I te you only test need that. Two. I only need two, yeah. Okay. That's why I just spent the extra last time. We're going to flip this. A crate open. The crate is lined with the sail of riverboat, which protects its strong contents, strange contents. There's a small, colorful bottle inside. Next to it is a cage holding a Nazag centipede. The venomous verbin vibrates vilely. Okay, we gain item cards 71 and 68. Mm. Okay, 71 and 68. If you give me a second over here, remove this card from play. 68 and 71. We have a trained illegal scorpion. Whoa. Is that what it says? 71. Yeah, 71. I love that. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. Illegal. Oh, it's a trained illegal scorpion. Oh, do we want the, we got the non-trained side. It looks like. It's a pet. It's a pet. I love it. Are there scorpion pets? Where are the pets at? Do we have tiny little thingies in here? I wonder if we do. We might not. I don't believe we do. No, because aren't they blue for you? I think they would be blue if they were ours. Let's see if we can get anything in here. No. But there is a tog roll in here. Okay, nothing for us, unfortunately. Okay, that's cool. And then we go ahead, and I got a 68 as well, which is this void extract, which that should be fun. Okay. And then we go ahead and go. Uh, oh, that's interesting. This is poisonous and can be applied to my bow to take someone out in a one-shot. Mm. Defeat a non-elite. Discard this. That's interesting. Okay. Is cool. what's his name elite? Yeah. He is unfortunately elite. Yeah. All right, now aren't you attacking? Uh, now I am attacking. So I'm moving first because I have to move out of there to get line of sight there. So I'm going to move one, two over here. It's I mean, a basic move. Are you also... Is there's... You can't try to get attacks from them, right? Sadly not. Yeah. We're equidistant. I can't change that. And you have a higher taunt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot them with an aimed shot over here. So we are spending one stamina. And I'm going to try to shoot the uh, basic gala, the basic razor thug over there. Because I think that's the best way to guarantee a kill over there. So we're going to use this. I'm going to shoot. And this card can go away. And we're going to shoot and see what we got. We got a 1-2. We got an extra die roll. That's going to be three, and that means I don't have any extra things over here, but I could spend the two stamina and kill him. Beautiful. So he's dead, and he drops, he's number five over here, and he drops one money. Okay. So that was this turn. Not a lot more I could do. Wait one second, actually. Wait one second. Mm. I have a scroll of minor heal that I can drop. But it would have to... Oh, I could also do the Cube of Annihilation. What does that do again? Uh, these are things that require maneuvers. So I can't do them this turn. Mm -hmm. But the Cube of Annihilation can be thrown to basically deal damage to everything within range. Mm -hmm. Seems like a good time to do it. So I might try to throw that and possibly the Scroll of Minor Heal next turn. But they require maneuvers. So there's not a lot I can you do can otherwise. You throw the Cube and attack? Yes. Right. Okay. And we go for the next can round. Can I poison the Cube? Can I poison the Cube? I don't think so. The Cube... This, though, this indicates that I can use the poison. Oh. 
so I can use poison if I can drop the thing and I kill one. I can insta kill someone, but I don't think I would do both. I would do one or the other. Right. But the tricky part is, do I, if I still do the aimed shot, yeah, I still think still with the aimed shot. The only problem is Dancing Blade on the other hand. Dancing Blade helps me go earlier because red usually goes earlier. Mm -hmm. So let me try Dancing Blade. I'm going to try, I don't even have a weapon, but I could swap in my weapon. I could swap in my weapon, which I'll probably do. I'll go with Dancing Blade. That gives me an opportunity to potentially hit earlier in the round. Do you think I should just heal twice? I don't think it's crazy. The alternative is focus. Right. Focus means you go earlier, which gives you a healing option first, and you have more defense against all of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the craziest. If I'm going in for the attack and dropping a cube of annihilation, why is your turn? Could you use this on your cube of annihilation? I don't see why not. I don't see why not either. It does a roll. Let's try. Let's blow them up. It's three dice. Cube of Annihilation is three dice. yippee ki -yay. And every one of the thingies is two damage. That is pretty cool. We We're just have team. to hope we We're go team. first. Yeah, we just okay. have to hope this works. Let's grab a timer card because we need I to mean, do that. I mean, I won't die immediately. No, you'll get an injury and whatnot. Right. right? And, like, they have to do Let's damage. Let's go ahead and draw the card. Maybe, they, maybe I completely... Let's draw the card and see what happens. Okay. Oh, great. I was going to fight and Green went first. And they we go last. Oh. Last, 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 last. Well, I think better kill them then. Okay. Well, I... I oh, dear Lord. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. So, right. green so goes first. There is no blue. green. It's going to be blue. Uh, blue's going to take their... We'll do... Um, Galen Bamagay is going to go first. He's going to do his poison knife. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you, it is a strength-based attack, so you have two defense, so you take one damage. Wait, but that's three defense for me? No, it's only one over here. Oh, plus so that's one. two? Yep, two defense. And he's doing one to me? He's doing one damage to you. I he's can auto also, success? You can add a success as you can. All right, I'm going to do that. Okay, great. Uh, we'll see how long I can one. do this dance for. You now have the next one attacking you. The archer is going to attack. Are you they're... sure they're going to attack me? Like, let's just consider. Yeah, unfortunately they are. are I sure wish they weren't. Closer? They do knife and heal. Oh, they're going to be healing, but they're actually at max health. It doesn't matter. Okay, that's actually not bad. Are they so, attacking me? Oh, no, it's a melee attack. One second. That actually changes things. So one second. So they're going to move one. So it moves one into the zone. That's what it's trying to do over here. That guy's dead. We can move him out of the board. Um, yeah. Oh, well, I guess he's... We can move Gallon's More card. More might come. We can move Gallon's card on top of right. him. All right. So then this archer moves closer one. It tries hitting you for two. So roll two dice. And then it heals for three, but it's already at max health. It's hitting me for two? He's trying to. You have two. And he's going to hit you for one. Oh, I'm going to succeed again. Okay, wow, you're you're not Dude. interested in dying. You're not interested in dying. And this guy <laughs> Are you kidding? This guy can't uh hit you because of the fact that um he No melee. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's us. Uh that's no melee and then they heal and that's it. Yeah, it's us. That actually worked out not the worst. Alright, I'm gonna heal. That and seems then reasonable. I'm gonna charge you up. Charge me up. There you go. Not okay. You need it. I'm gonna go ahead and spend this over here. I'm going to start by spending a maneuver. Actually, no, I don't know why I spent that. That's not what's happening right now. I'm going to start by dropping a maneuver to drop a cube of annihilation on them. So this cube of annihilation I've had since the beginning of the game. I'm dropping it on them. It's going to go poom over there and uh, hit everything for three. So we're going to discard that. It's going to be doing a three dice attack. But for me, because of your your boom over there, it's a five dice attack. Do you roll for each one? No. What do you mean? No, it's going to be rolling across all of them. Okay. Five dice attack. And let's see what happens. Yep. We got one, two, three, five. We got two over here, plus two more. So that's seven, right? Seven so far. And these are both two each because of that. So that brings us to 11 damage to each of them. So I believe, did you do any damage to him? You did not. No. So dead, dead, and I still have an attack. All right, and you did 11? Yes. And these guys are both dead. That was pretty cool, actually. That was really cool. I'm glad well we thought spent. of it. Yeah. And I almost, I had to spend all those things to yeah. live. Yeah, that's pretty good. That. And now he's down to four, and I'm going to spend... One stamina. This goes back to you. That's done. We blessed it over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend that one stamina, and I'm going to attack him for an aim shot for three. So three dice over here. Aim shot. It should be enough to kill him, hopefully. We got... That's enough to kill him. We roll two extra dice over there, and he's dead. One, two, three, four. He's dead. Not spending a single stamina more. He dies. There should be two more coins there, plus his three, for a total of five coins. Just drop a fiver. Fiver. Yeah, I, I think you deserve that. You've taken the brunt of that damage. I was going to try to take it anyway. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, let's it's share. Fine. And you're like, I was going to sank you. Okay. Uh, that's that. We draw an initial card. And a round card, or whatever they're called. And then we so, go ahead. Yep. 
and we have four on our timer. So we're at, uh, what is that? Oh, that, that crosses the timer. That wasn't supposed to happen that soon. Well, we crossed the timer. So we're going to reveal the next card. Well, this time we're not playing catch up on the first one, which is nice. Read the next raid description. Reveal cards two and five. Can we get cards two and five out there? More people. Mm -hmm. We have a fly. Okay. And Bonja. Bonja is going to be the four Bonjas. over here. He's, he's the one we set aside earlier, which is here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. So Bonja is going to take over this card over here. Bonja is going to spawn on there. Uh oh, <laughs> he's over here. Okay, and then we haven't even made our way to this stuff I over know. here. It is what it is. We'll see what we do. All we have to do is kill everyone. That's our goal. <laughs> uh, use Razor Arrow Stand D4. Spawn run Razor Thug on each square of the map. So we're spawning a Razor Thug. Spawn a Vesper over here. The Vesper's over here. I need to grab one of those. Here we got a Vesper. And uh, we want to um, pass me a... I got a base over here. Never mind. So we got this. No, we got this base over here. And we need Razor Thugs. We have the Razor Thugs over here. We, do, we need only one Razor Thug. It's going to spawn over here. It's going to be number four. And the Vesper. That was Gallum. That was Gallum, but now he's a Razor Thug. Well, he always was. Yes. And he we're going to go his ahead. Name. This is not going on the best over here. And then we're going to go ahead and put this uh, over here. It's going to be number two. So he's got a strength of nine. So we want to assign a die to him. We have the Bonches over here with a die of 12. And then we have nine on him. Perfect. Beautiful. He's got fly. What number is the thug talent for? Yes. Oh. So we got three enemies to kill. Should not be the worst. And a timer of 11. So we have until the next timer I to... I do want to know what I do want to as well, but I also don't want to lose a scenario. So there's that toss-up. Okay. And we go ahead and choose our actions. Um, I think I'm going to attack. I could dancing blade it, or I could aim shot it. I meant to do the swap the sermon on the spear before I attack, by the way. Because otherwise that wouldn't have worked. All right. And I could go ahead. This is a zone that fits two people. I could just ceremony of spirit. It's better for the guaranteed success. But the aim shot, I think, is probably better. But the dancing blade is faster. I'll dancing blade it. I'm going to channel energy again. Okay. Oh, you're channeling energy on me. Ooh, intriguing. Don't you like that? I do. All right. Them first. Uh, they have no blues. The blues don't activate. They, they have, have reds. Them. They have reds. They have a few of. So we're going to have the Vesper is going to go ahead and go. He's going to do his middle attack. He's going to move three if he needs to, which he does because he's biting me. So he's going to go flying flip, 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 flip over here. Uh, then he's going to hit me for an agility attack, which is great because that's the thing I'm best at. So I'm going to try to whoa, ignore whoa, whoa. him. That's a fair point. <laughs> I'm going to roll these. And we got, oh. whoa, I take nothing. I stand yeah. strong against the wave of Onslaught. Uh, then we're going to have the Razor Thug go. The Razor Thug is going to go ahead and he's going to move one, two, three. So he's going to be heading towards you quickly. Okay. Oh, we should have, our last card was a, what was the last card? It was the four. So that one's on this time already. Uh-oh. That means we don't have enough time. We have not necessarily enough time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I believe it's my turn. My turn. You're, yes, I guess that's fair. I should buff you. That's fair. That seems reasonable. All right. So I will buff you in here. Okay. It's a good thing I'm dancing blade. Okay, you buff me and heal. I'm gonna you spend my stamina. I guess I should. Oh, I guess I should spend my stamina first. I'm gonna spend my stamina to attack, which is a little. You Are know. Are you what? gonna move it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna recover. Not first because I would take damage. Okay. Why? Do you want me to? No. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take two. I'm gonna recover stamina because the enemy in my zone. I recover at one less. I'll then go ahead and uh, give you this back to roll five, four dice, four dice on this attack. Beautiful. We're rolling four dice, thanks to you over there. And I have the stamina to pay. I'm paying the stamina. You are the dancing blade. Dun, Feel dun, the dun, energy. Dun, dun. And I, I got the following. So I got one, two, three, four. I got four. Okay, here's the problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if I did that, and then eight if I did that. But I can't get to ten. And because I can't get to ten. Oh, this is a freaking normal enemy. I could have used my uh, bow, but that's whatever. Next time. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do a basic five damage to him. Okay. Okay, if you want to drop him down to four. Oh, sorry. That's all good. He's down to four, and I've done that. And that's my turn. Oh, yeah, I did it all. I did it all. I did it all. All right, and is that everything? No. It's the, uh, now it's us. the... Now did you, it's did the, you maneuver at all? I healed. Oh, you healed. Nice. I was dying. Okay. <laughs> now it's the creepy guy. Creepy guy goes. Uh, Banja's over here. He's going to go ahead and go using his top action. He's going to do a flame arrow. What the heck is a flame arrow? 
Okay. We'll find out. He's going to do a three range attack with a zero range periphery, and uh, it's going to hit that zone for four. I'm going to roll three of these over here and hope to uh, ignore that four from earlier would be great. The thingy? Wow. That's one, two, three, and I will take one damage. Does it hurt the other thing here? I don't believe so. It's possible oh. it does. I bet it's all awesome. The range zero. There's, again, we, we're charging forward. Awesome. We don't want to check rules all, every two seconds. There's a possibility the flame arrow would hit. I'll check it out for next time. All right. So okay. that's uh, the whole round? That's the round. We got, okay. We may only have one round left to take out everyone. What if we don't? What if we don't? Oh, it's fail forward. I know it's fail forward, but... <laughs> If all enemies in the field at the end of the scenario, when the timer reaches the target number, why does the third card have the lowest timer number? Don't worry, I'm going to draw twos next. Yeah, please do. That'd be Don't helpful. Don't worry. If you draw a five... Stop worrying. You have to draw three or less. Let's go. All right. Pick your thing. I'm going to attack. I'm going to I'll Dancing kill, Blade again, I think. I'll kill the bird thing. I'm going to Dancing Blade again. Can okay. I be on your spot? You can right now. Okay. But even if they take it up, then you'll be able to attack them adjacent. All right, let's, let's draw the, uh, the initial card. This guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. And they're going to go first, because of course. So, the Vesper is going to go ahead and go. It's going to try to attack me with an agility attack. I will again roll three defense over, over here, and I get two damage against me. So, one and two. That's not pleasant. Uh, then, the um, Razor Thug is going to go ahead and go, and he's going to be moving his middle attacks. So he's moving three, one, two, and then he's going to try to hit you because of, you know, mm -hmm. where you are. You can still move into a zone, though. So, um, he's going to hit you. You roll two defensively. <laughs> and you get four damage. It's a little obnoxious. You gotta be kidding. It's a little obnoxious, yeah. Slashing blades. The Razor Thugs have hard slashing blades. <gasps> you gotta be kidding. You gotta take the armor. The armor's a thing. I have armor. It did nothing. Okay. Well, in I'm the meantime... Ooh, I wish I had pivoted to the... I could have taken them out if I had been smarter with things. Alright, well now it's your turn. Okay, well I'm gonna go did ahead. Did you have both of them go? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Bahajas did not go over here. He did not go yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will go ahead and try to kill that thingy, which I should be able to do with only two. Only two? Mm -hmm. Well, first I'm gonna guess recover two of these, because that's the necessary thing. I'm gonna roll two of these. That's not good. That's not good. I may not be able to do it. I have to roll well. That's, no. that's rolling well. That's rolling well. That's okay. That's uh, I spend two of these, and he is dead. You only have to spend one. Oh, uh, it's only one because I have plus one piercing. That's right. You're fighting, Thank you. Who are you fighting? I'm fighting this guy, the Vesper. He's dead. So that's one, two, three. And the four. four. The four is from the Shemelon Spear. I forgot about that one. Okay. So he's dead. Okay. okay. All right. And have you attacked yet? No. No. Okay. Uh, they're gonna. You're gonna go first. Before. All right. So that, was that your whole turn? That was my whole. Uh, yes, I recovered and I spent the thingy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, I should be spending for the Dancing Blade. I don't think I did that. I didn't spend that. Okay. So it works. Alright, so I can be on this guy's spot. Yes, you can. But I probably should heal instead. Possibly. I just don't want to lose that money if we don't... Uh, yeah, getting the money is nice. But uh, it couldn't possibly end. What do you mean it couldn't possibly end? In the next card. If we have at five, least one more. There are fives? There's fives and fours. I know there are fours. If a four hits, that's 11. This one was at 11, a timer of 11. Yeah, because I, I said, that's I said, like it's got the wor worst timer. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I'll attack him first anyway. Who am I fighting? This guy? He has 10. One, two, three. Sure, I'll spend it to do five to him. Five damage to him. And then do I heal or do I... That's move? with the bomb and anything. We had a cool thing with the I bomb know. and everything. I know. I'm going to move on to the money. Okay. No, I'm going to heal. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So now scary guy goes. Now scary guy goes. Scary guy is going to be going with his lowest attack over here. He's going to be shooting into my zone again. And I'll be rolling defensively because that's my thing over there. That's one defense against the attack of four. I'm taking three damage. This Gross. is not going great. We're having issues. We're having issues. Alright. Okay. And uh, go that ahead and do the timer. We are fine. We are fine. Form around. That's ten. We have... The, we still have... Yeah, we still have this next round. Okay. That is... We have one round to kill 15 plus five to do 20 damage. Oh, he's only 12. He's only 12. Is he not elite? He's an elite. 
I don't think it's possible. We should have played that better because you could have auto killed this one and my five damage could have been on him. If I had auto killed him, it would have been different, yeah, but the auto kill would have taken a full attack anyway. If I would have auto killed him the first turn, possibly. Mm -hmm. But as it stands, I don't think we can do much. I think getting the four on the last turn, the first cards we had lower numbers. I think this might be the first scenario we fail. The scenario ends when the time reaches the target number on the third raid card. Yeah. I mean, we could technically draw a two or something, so a I don't think we matter. should give up. Oh, no, we're at ten. We're at, yeah, we're at ten. If we draw a one, it's over. Yeah. I don't think there are ones. Alright, well, either way. Alright, I mean, we always have the ability to roll infinites, so that's a possibility. We could have a very, very hard <laughs> turn. Yeah. I was going to not take an attack and run to see what this is. <laughs> Just to see if it's something that somehow helps us. Okay. What if it's like, oh, I don't know. We will never know. Anyways, um, I have to choose something. I believe Aim Shot has more potential for reroll, so I think I'm going to pivot to the Aim Shot card. Not that I think it's going to be likely. But I also, worse than worse, I could discard this for two stamina. I could discard this for five health, five stamina. So I have the ability to generate stamina if I need to. Um, I could discard this to get one plus one dying magic attack, which is not going to help me. So I have tools. I have some tools. I don't know. Do you want me to attack them? I I think live your best life. It's all fine. Because I, I was going to run to find out what B is just to find out what it is. I I think it's unlikely we win, but I also think it's unlikely that you like getting to. Can you even get to B? As long as that trap doesn't stop me. Well, I mean, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three over there. So mm -hmm. I guess you could. I might, if, if we don't think we're going to do it anyway, might as well find out what's over there. Yeah, I mean, that's up to you. Um, I'm okay with that while acknowledging that it is is what it is. Yeah. Like, if, if you think I should fight, if you think we could win, then I would fight. Well, the flip side is if we're taking that approach, then I'd run to D. Right. But I don't know if I could make it anyway because... I can't spend stamina, so I won't make right. it to D. So I won't make it to D no matter what. We'll just see how the cookies crumble. Okay, let's do it. I don't know, do you want me to kill him? I, this I is the choice, this is the moment choice. To me, your math makes sense. Your math absolutely makes sense. All right. There is something cool about trying to uh, kill them. I'm but gonna, your math I makes wanna, sense. I want to check. Maybe it's something that's going to help. You know, it's in the farthest nope, corner. No, I agree. Uh, listen, I don't, th I don't I, disagree. Extra maneuver. I think your math makes sense. You you know what you want? Um, I'm doing an aim shot. What do you mean? I'm, I'm still I'm still going to shoot them. I'm just asking if you're ready. Yeah. All right. All right they're going to go. Kill us. And they're going to do, so we're going to start with uh, the Razor Thug, who's still in play. He's going to get plus one to his attack, and he's going to be attacking you because you're mm -hmm. high the threat. So he's going to be doing, uh, which that is the highest one, so he's doing four damage. Well, you get, that was four. You can negate, you can take three damage. Okay. Which also means you can't get to the chest. Why? Because you don't have stamina. Do I need a, just one? No, I need two. Yeah. And I couldn't have stopped yeah. that, though. Right, yeah. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. Um, then it's going to be to your action, I believe, or our actions. Well, you can do whatever you want to do. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to kick out him because I think that makes the most sense thematically. I'm going to recover three, one, two. I can only, oh, you know what? I'll recover two health into that. Then I'm going to spend one, and I'm going to shoot him with three. I'm going to use an aim shot against him to try to now, kill him. Now, the only thing I'll say, Alex, yes. is I am going to get to move, and I'm going to move on to that money. Yep. If you kill this one with only five health left, it would drop a coin where I'm already going. It just makes more sense if you're not going to kill math, him anyway. All it your just math. makes... All your math checks out. You are also playing the least aggressive game. <laughs> like, the least thematic last chance. Like, I'll go ahead and shoot him. You're not wrong. Okay. We'll do one, two. I, I'd have to spend... I can't. So, I can't kill it. Yeah. I don't even do... I'm not even, not even remotely close. Okay. He drops down to three, and that's it. This is very anticlimactic. All right. I will move on to his spot for the mm -hmm. money. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to heal first and then move on then to his spot. spot. Here you go. It's all about the money, money. It clearly is all about the money. We draw a card. If there are undefeated enemies at the end of the scenario, which there now are, in either case, read the relevant outcome and the conclusion on page 74 of this book. Okay, page 74. That is sad. It's our oh. first scenario that we've lost. Let's go ahead and grab some cards. One second, we need to grab some things out here. 
Well, you know, now that I have the correct abilities. Yeah. We're failing. <laughs> 74. The Twilight Watch. Outcome 2. Fail forward. As the clocks of the city strike midnight, Kellyan returns with his crew to drive off the Shroud gangsters. You are wounded and beaten, and the warehouse near empty. Thank the stars you live, Killian says. Had I known the Shroud would attack, I wouldn't have left you alone. Looks like you got more than you bargained for. You confront him about being an outlaw, a traitor to the Republic, and a pagan. As you've been called all... Aye, we've been called all those names. Although we in the Sable Crown prefer to think of ourselves as friends, of the Republic and her people. The true traitors are the lecherous Magus no no nobility who oppress the common folk. As the outlaws leave, Kalian pays you for your trouble. I might have another job for you later on if you'll work with the likes of us. I'll see you at the Givvin, heaven, heaven protect. You leave the warehouse and limp back to the shantytown of the Northgate district, wondering what new mess you've gotten yourselves in. Each hero gains plus one coin. Conclusion, if any hero has the monsoon story card below the hero board, we do not, as what was this? This is the mon yeah, monsoon yeah, story, yeah, 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 you do, yeah. okay? So read 119. There is a name and an address carved into the Monkoon's collar. Oh. The owner lives in the secular bank in a nice house by the round market. You knock on the door and a burly servant opens it. I don't want to give him back. Once he recognizes the animal, he lets you in. You are served wine and cakes as you wait for the Monkoon's owner in a drawing room. Amongst other valuables, there's a clearly magical cube sitting on a shelf. Eventually, an old and ethical noblewoman enters the room. She walks with small, delicate steps. The Monkoon immediately runs to her and starts licking her tail. On this day, the stars shine upon me, the old lady says happily. What boon would you ask of me? Do you ask for money? A magic cube? Or tell her that helping is its own reward? A magic cube! Please? The please was important. You know, if, if she just wants my opinion, if she's asking, I'm going to tell her. You don't want to lie to her. If the players say please, you ask the lady <laughs> for the... That's not true. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> You ask the lady for the magical cube on the shelf. My stars, that belong to my late husband. He was a warlock of the inner circle, you see. I'm not sure if I can part with that. Yes, you can. One hero makes an intelligent test. That's going to be you. Roll two yellow, two red dice. Red? Red dice. Is there anything I can add to this? Nope. Can I add my success nope. to these? Those? Yes. That's three. You need to get six. Oh! Fail. She refuses to part with the cube and offers you a monetary reward instead. Each hero gains one. Each hero. So at least is that. Thanks. Okay, that is number oh, one. If you have mysterious box in your party journal, we don't. If you've tamed the vest beer, what do you mean tamed the vest beer? And it was not defeated. What do you mean tamed See, the vest card beer? B. We never got to B. Remember when I wanted to run there? We could have not had to fight that stupid thing. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. Okay. We should trust my animal instincts. Yeah. Achievements. Explorers. All story cards have been revealed? No. All grass crates have been opened? Yes, we got that one. So we each get, can you give each of us a, um, blue, uh, yeah, yep. Respectful. No grass crates have been opened. No, hell no. There's no way on earth that they're like, here are some crates and we're not opening them. Short work. You defeated all enemies at least one full round before the scenario ended? No. Mm -hmm. Cut the head off the snake. An elite enemy was defeated and your hero dealt the final damage to it. An elite enemy? You mean that happened a few times? Yeah. It happened the first time, so I think it was the main person, so I killed it, I believe. Gallum? Yeah, so I get the uh, one achievement. It's happened only once, because it's the only time. Okay. Beast no, Tamer. No, wait, wasn't he killed? No. no. Beast Tamer, your hero succeeded at the will check on story card B. No. No, we didn't do that. Lucky Break, your hero fully succeeded fully succeeded on one or more checks on a trap card, and so oh, avoided me. suffering. Yeah, yeah. You did that. I dodged to the ice. And that's it. That is the scenario. We'll be back next time, and next time, do you know what we're doing next time, Meg? What are we doing next time? We're leveling up. We're making some choices, and things oh, are going to happen? Oh, yes, we're making some choices, and things are going to happen. Are we leaving it here until next time? No, we're filming something else almost immediately after this. No, but I... <laughs> is this the end of this video? This is the end of this video, yes, yes. Well, until next time, thank you all for watching. This has been a sponsored playthrough of Agamonia. Thank you to Alex Radcliffe from Borgian Co. for showing up today. Good night. Good luck, good evening. Take care of yourselves out there. Bye.